Alright, what up? We're back on the ladder, and today we're going to be using a team featuring Stellar Terra Meowskarada. So Meowskarada was used a lot in earlier metas and in earlier regulations, and has since kind of fallen off. Fallen. His sense fell off, but we're going to try using it today. I wanted to just kind of play with Stellar Terra a little bit more, but looking at their team, we're going to have a bit of a hard time. They got Porygon 2, which the one time I don't bring Knockoff, they're going to have Porygon 2. Or, let's see. No, I do have Knockoff. Oh, I do have Knockoff. I thought I had Night Slash. Sick. Alright, so we have that. Uh, they're going to have Cresselia as well, Ursaluna, Dragonite, Ogre Pond Flame, and Porygon Z. So, some weird picks, some meta picks, some frustrating picks. <laughs> but, this is a safe uh, Meowserata lead here. I don't think they can lead with anything that can outspeed me. So, we're going to be able to go ahead and get a U-turn at the very least. And then, what we're going to want to do is, I think, bring Raging Bolt. I think I want to bring Raging Bolt for this one. Uh, maybe not... I want to bring Primarina, actually. And... Then I'm gonna say... Iron Moth? Yeah, then I'm thinking Iron Moth here. So, we'll go with that. Uh, our team is very offensive, barring Primarina. So... I mean, that's what I like to run. I do like doing hyper offense, but hopefully it works out well. Big Gardevoir pick. Alright, but what's the lead gonna be? Alright, they're gonna lead with the Porygon Z, which is interesting, at the very least. Uh, they might be Scarfed, which I'm kind of scared of because I don't want to get taken down to my Sash just yet. I think I'm gonna just go and switch out into Primarina just right off the bat. I really don't feel like getting taken down to my Sash just yet in this match. And we should be able to tank anything here. So Trick Room? Okay, so it's actually not going to be Scarf. It's going to be the complete opposite of Scarf. But what we can do here is just go for Moonblast, try to get a special attack drop. Uh, we are actually going to outspeed because we're slower than it. Uh, we're going to get the special attack drop too, which is sick. Uh, he's going to go for the Shadow Ball. Not quite sure what that place about. We are going to tank that very well. And I'm just going to go for another Moonblast here. I don't think he has any safe switch-ins. So we're going to go for that. We are going to get the KO. So down goes the Porygon Z. Uh, very interesting. I actually have a Porygon Z myself that I want to use in a future video. That I just got prepared. But hopefully we do better than this guy's when I end up using it. But now, we're going to send in the Ogre Pawn. Which, I don't want to get hit by a Horn Leech or anything here. So I could just go ahead and switch out into the Iron Moth. Which, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do. I don't feel like losing Primarina, especially if they have Dragonite. Going to want to keep it around. So we're going to send in the Iron Moth. And probably get horn leached here but that's gonna be all right uh with this speed boost though we are probably gonna get outsped in the trick room but we eat up that horn leech pretty nicely that was a crit as well so we can just go ahead here for the sludge wave They're, they carry a rock tomb though that's crazy that's crazy i have not seen that before but here's the sludge wave uh, it is going to pick up the KO. Very nice. We've had to do some switch arounds here, but things are going nicely here. And the Trick Room faded away, which is good for us, because we should be able to outspeed whatever comes in now, which is going to be the Ursaluna. They might have Vacuum Wave, though. So I'm just going to pop the Energy Ball. And hopefully they don't have Vacuum Wave. I don't know, it's kind of a toss-up a lot of times. Nah, they are going to. But here we can see if he's life orbed or not. Which is going to be helpful. So he's not. Uh, but we can do. Go back into Primarina here. Uh, I could have gone into Meowskarada. But I don't really want to risk it just yet. So I'm just going to go for the Hyper Voice here. See what we can do. They are going to Terra. I'm going to assume it's Terra normal. Just because that's what I run. Yeah. 
We're gonna be Terra Normal. So we might be about to get hit with a Blood Moon here. But we do outspeed. We're just gonna get some chip off as much as we can. Uh, here comes the Blood Moon. We probably don't live it after this Terra. Oh, we do. We actually still tank it, which is insane. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead for another Hyper Voice here. Okay, Vacuum Wave. We should tank that, yeah. Here's the Hyper Voice. Take it down there. And now I can Aqua Jet here. It's not gonna KO, actually. I'm kind of just bullshitting, though, because I want to get the kill with Meowskarada. <laughs> like, I kind of want to give Meowskarada screen time, so I'm kind of just bullshitting there. But here we go. Send in Meowskarada. We are going to outspeed, and we are sashed. He thinks he has a chance right now, which is funny. But yeah, we're going to Terra Stellar Flower Trick. Watch how good this Terra is. D just ignore the fact that he's a kill like percentage right now. Just, just ignore that. And watch how good Stellar Terror is. We get the low poly turtle on our head. Now this vacuum wave. Oh no. Oh, we actually tanked it without the sash. That's kind of crazy. Okay, but here. Get off that flower trick. And bada bing bada boom. You're fucking dead. Alright. So that's going to be the first match. We pick up the win. Already going great. So not much else to say about that. Let's go ahead and get into another one. All right, this time we got some annoying looking picks on their side. We got Blissey, Goldengo, Scizor, Umbreon, uh, Serena, and Serulege. So this might still be a good lead for Meowskarada, given that they don't lead with Scizor because they could outspeed us. Um, let's see. No, I think I think I'll lead with Meowskarada still. And I'll also go Ogre Pond. And then what do we need to pick up the other matchups here? Let's see, we cover Blissey. We cover Goldango for the most part. Um I'm thinking Iron Moth. I'm thinking Iron Moth there. That'll be our squad. Because that should help take care of Umbreon and Serena, and Saru Ledge. So I'm thinking this is good. Alright, the Scizor in the pick. Is the Scizor going to be his lead? Let's find out here. No, it's actually going to be the Serena. So this is perfect for us to just U-turn out. Uh, I might actually pop the Terra right here and go for it. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Just gonna confuse them and get the Stellar Terra up. Try to have some fun with it. Uh, we're guaranteed to live one of anything, but I think we should outspeed. Yep, we do. So we get the Terra. And boom. Doesn't kill, but it takes it down a good bit. So now, what we can do is go into Iron Moth. And we're pretty alright to take one of anything here. And then also outspeed and maybe get the Fiery Dance boost. That's kind of what I'm aiming for. Triple Axle though, we're going to take that very well. Even with the crits. Uh, we're going to be able to tank that. And then just go for this Fiery Dance here, try to get the boost even if they switch. But I don't know why he would try to keep this thing alive. Interesting. Because we do outspeed, like, with all of our mons. He knows that we have Meowskarada up, which is going to take care of it. But, okay, maybe he wants to get that Flash Fire boost there. Yeah, that's alright with me. It's alright. Uh, we actually don't have anything to take care of the Seru Ledge. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I think I just kind of have to hope for the poison. Like, let's see. We are Sludge Wave and not Sludge Bomb, though. No, we don't get it. Bulk up, that's going to be scary. It's going to be scary, but I can still try to get as much chip as possible. Uh, we are... The reason I'm not so worried is because we're sashed with Meowskarada. So, like, I'm not too worried 
about getting swept by this thing. Bitter Blade's gonna be annoying though. Uh, what we can do is keep here. We're probably gonna get Shadow Sneak. Yeah. That's fine though. Okay, down goes Iron Moth. Uh, not quite what we want to see. I haven't fought too many Sarah Ledges. But we can go into Meowskarada now. And just go straight for that knockoff. And probably be good. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, don't outspeed me. That would be annoying. Just go for Shadow Sneak. The bulk up is kind of worrisome. Because I don't know, like, how much he's going to tank my hit here. Okay, he's actually going to withdraw. I'm okay with that. But whatever's coming in is getting knocked off. So here's the Scizor. Here's the Scizor. We're just going to get that knockoff. We get rid of the Choice Band. That's very good for us. Uh, now... We're going to just try to U-turn out. Just get the little chip damage there. And hoping that he doesn't go for a U-turn or anything. Uh, we kind of got to send in Ogre Pond. So there we go. No dual wing beat. That's equally as scary. That's just equally as bad. So down goes Ogre Pond. Uh, it's up to Meowskarada now. Hopefully we can take care of it. Uh, the dual wing beat would get rid of our sash, which I don't want to see. So this is kind of scary. Uh, I'm not too sure what to go for. I'm really not. Do I just go for the flower trick and try to get that crit off? I just, I'm just going to go for knockoff. Because I don't think the flower trick would kill. Let's just go for it. Uh, this is scary, though, if we don't kill. Okay, bullet punch. Get taken down to there. Okay, we get the kill with the knockoff. Okay, I'm assuming we're about to get shadow sneaked, but hopefully we live. Okay, yep, here's the Sarah Ledge. Can I get the knockoff here? Please don't go for Shadow Sneak. Just let me live. Okay, he's gonna Terra. Let's see. Terra normal, interesting. Okay, we can go for the knockoff. Or at least going to get rid of the berry. Uh, that better blade, though, I don't think we're living. Yeah. Alright, so second match is a wash. Did all I could, though. Uh, we just did not have a good comp or anything to deal with the Seru Ledge. But that's going to be alright. We got a third game coming up, so let's go ahead and get into that. Alright, this time, interesting picks. We got Hatterene, Palmot, Toxapex, Dusclops, Furret, and Menchow. So, I have no idea what they want to do. Probably just Hatterene lead for, like, magic bounce, if I had to guess. Or Toxapex, or anything. Really, it's just annoying. They just got a lot of annoying ones. But, we can scout with Meowskarada here. Uh, the only thing is, how do I deal with Toxapex? Like, not too sure. Uh, I think I gotta bring along Raging Bolt. I think. And... Then, then do I bring along Iron Moth? I think I do. Like, I think. Yeah, yeah, let's just go for it. Right. I'm kind of scared, though, because of these off-meta picks, but I do like it. I always love to see that. All right, Rika fan, I see. I don't get the hype. But I don't think I'm the target audience. So they're going to leave with Hatterene, as expected. Uh, but we can do. We are going to U-turn out. Uh, we're going to pop Terra, actually. And go for the U-turn. 
just to get as much damage as we can off. So we'll go for that, get the turtle on our head. I don't think Stellar Terra is good, honestly. It is kind of fun to have around, try to develop sets for, but I don't think it's exactly good. But we'll go ahead and get the chip damage off on the Hatterene. And who do we want to take a fairy move? Not you. You, I guess. Hopefully they don't read me out of nowhere and go for a psychic. But let's get the speed boost. Maybe it goes for trick room. I have no idea. Reflect? Okay. That's annoying, but like it's fine. Uh, let's just go for Sludge Wave. Please die to this. You already had chip damage taken. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Down goes the Hatterene. Alright, what's up next? Alright, now we're going to be seeing the Furret. Right, that's cute. The Love Ball and everything. But I don't know what you want to do to me. That's the annoying part. Or that's the scary part, really. Let's try to get the Fiery Dance boost, I guess. Can we get it? We do. Very nice. Tidy up. Okay, you want to set up on me. Are we about to get Tidy Up Quick Attacked? Because I think we still outspeed because we do have the booster energy. But I could be wrong. I'm not, but I could be. So down goes the Furret. A uh, good attempt. I liked seeing the attempt. I hope it's working in other matches. But what's your final mon gonna be now? Alright, we got the Toxapex. This is annoying. But what can you do? Just go for the energy ball, try to get as much chip off as we can. And then somehow try to take this thing down. Okay, that's going to do almost half. That's pretty good. Okay, that haze is going to be a little annoying. But nothing too bad. Now, I just kind of got to hope he doesn't protect stall me here. Just because that's annoying. But get this energy ball off. Right, liquidation. Ow. Not going to KO us, though. Very nice being able to tank one of those. So Iron Moth again. God, I know this is kind of an Iron Moth video in disguise, but... <laughs> but just just trust me, uh, Stellar Terra Meowskarada, you've seen it on screen, it counts. That's what this video is about. Right, so we get Baneful Bunkered. We are effectively getting Protect Stalled. Which is annoying, like, come on. Just, you lost. Accept it. Come on now. Right now, you Terra. Are you gonna be steel? No grass. Okay. That's interesting. God, I could have read that and made the play of the fucking century. Can we get the drop? Thank you. I just gotta ask for it. That's all it's come down to today, is just asking for it. Alright, so now... Now we're gonna go into Meowskarada, and probably get Baneful Bunkered. Like, if I'm being honest. But the Reflect wears off now, that's good. So here we go. And we are gonna go for the Triple Axle. Don't bunker me. God damn it. Come on now. Just wasting my goddamn time over here. Does that eat up my stellar usage for the triple axle? I really hope it doesn't. Alright, but now we're gonna take poison damage. This guy's just stalling us out. This is really fucking annoying. It doesn't eat up the usage, so that's good. Okay. Triple Axle here, get one. 
two, three. Okay. So aside from that annoying part at the end, uh, this went pretty well. Stellar Tearing Astorada, pretty fun to use. Uh, I don't know if it'll be a recurring Pokemon on this channel, just because I don't think it's very good anymore. <laughs> but it is pretty fun to experiment with. So Stellar Terra, not very good, but cool to have fun with, like I said. But that'll be it for this one. Uh, do the YouTuber stuff, like, comment, and subscribe. And I don't know how to end videos, so...